folks, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We're going to take up the E Flight Twin Otter, or Twatter as I like to call her, excuse the pun. And she has flaps, she's got ailerons, she's got elevator and rudder, she's got some nav lights that's here, here on the end, here, and then up here on the uh, top of the vertical stabilizer. Probably can't see them right now in the sun. Um, but we're going to take her off. She's very easy to transport. You just um, you just unscrew this one simple screw, lift the wing off, uh, disconnect your Ys. Now, my particular otter, when I first got her, I want to say on about my third or fourth flight, I had her on a grass field and very bad crash. It didn't look so bad on the video. Y'all can watch that video. But it tore this nacelle off. So this was hanging off and it ripped up the landing gear. Now, that doesn't seem that bad, but what you didn't see is that on the inside, it just confetti the inside of it and uh, absolutely made the uh, little hard points for the rudder completely unusable. So what I've done, I put in uh, my own rudder uh, with a steerable servo right here and mixed it in with the uh, rudder, the actual rudder on a separate channel. And for that, and now I have a much better steerable nose wheel still haven't painted the bottom of this to match the blue but other than that that's the only mod i've done to her i think i well no i didn't give her a clear coat um but let's take her up and have some fun folks fat guy flies rc here i'm gonna take up the flight twin otter or twatter as i like to call it out here at the avon park field and uh i'm gonna try to have a little bit of fun with her turn her Oh, I don't have the voice prompt set up on this one. Well, that's okay. Got my timer set for seven minutes. I haven't flown this plane in a hot minute, so as is my normal procedure is uh, do a range test when you haven't flown a plane in a while. Okay, so let's go down here to range test. Tell it yes. We're going to hit the bind uh, button for reduce power and I see movement and I see motor. Okay, so we're in good shape. All right, that just simulates a greater distance. And uh, we're going to try taking off here without, without takeoff flaps. Right off the bat. This is one of those planes that just kind of hangs in the air for you. Definitely a solid, that's about three quarters throttle right there. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna land her. Well, you know what, we'll do a, we'll do a nice slow pass here, right off the bat. Got the flaps all the way down. Oh, she's just so quiet and nice. Hey, what we'll do is we'll uh, we're gonna do a landing from this direction now. Definitely a slow enough flyer to give you time to think about what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, she'll fly inverted okay. But this is a scale bird. Oh boy, look at how nice and slow, how nice and slow that is. Now this is a very popular plane uh, for cargo, passenger transport, a lot of people like to jump out of a perfectly good airplane with a parachute out of this, uh, with this plane. 
Not to knock y'all who like to do the parachuting. I understand the adrenaline rush. Um, but if I want an adrenaline rush, I just made a new plane. <laughs> oh. There we go. Can kind of see the lights there now. I think the uh, biggest complaint that people have with this plane is that they just wish it was bigger. <laughs> it does fly so well. It is such a good flying plane. When I first got it and I first started flying it, I wasn't all that impressed with it. Um, and I honestly, I don't know why. Is it flies amazing. It doesn't, to me, it didn't seem like it was the best quality of the E-Flight planes, maybe on the lower uh, spectrum, lower end of the spectrum of their quality, but you know, other than my crash, I've had zero problem with it, and that was me. And that was my fault. But uh, just a nice flying plane. Let's land her this time with no flaps at all. Out of the power, dead stick, basically. All right. She's got a big old rudder on her. Big old rudder. Oh boy, what a nice flying plane. Time to go. Now, folks, you know, I paid for this plane out of my own back. Well, all my planes I've paid for, they've either been given to me. Whoa. Oh, that was my fault there. They've either been given to me or I've paid for them. But I have not had a manufacturer of any plane or anybody that makes these planes say, hey, we're going to give you this plane. We want you to do a nice review on it. We want you to, you know, really show how nice the plane is. And uh, that hasn't happened. Or have they just said, I haven't had a manufacturer say, hey, we're going to give you this plane, do a, a very honest and good review on it. Haven't had that happen either. I would hope any manufacturer who does decide to let me review a plane is going to say, we want an honest, an honest unbiased opinion of it. Because that's what they're going to get. Because if, even if they say, oh, no, no, you got to be really nice about it. You got to say nice things about it. No, I'm not going to lie. If, it, if the plane sucks, you know, if the plane has some bad quality or defects, I'll make sure that those defects are not because of my build or my own experience before I say anything. But if I can verify that the model they sent me has just got a bad design, then I'll say, hey, this is a bad design. Y'all need to fix this. Um... But as far as this plane goes here, this is my plane. I bought this plane, paid the full price for it. And uh, like I said, when I first put it together, and uh, it just didn't seem uh, as the best quality. And it was the little things. It was like the clevises and the control horns. And they had no, uh, people are spoiled by having that fuel tubing put on. They didn't have that on there. And they're just little things that, that that you take for granted with an E-Flight or an FMS plane. And I didn't get with this one. I do like, I'll be honest, I, I wish that uh, the rudder situation they did with this plane was the same as mine. A, uh, a nose, a nose, uh, not rudder, but the nose gear um, they put a, ser a separate servo in just for it up front because it just balances this plane so well and gives me really good uh, taxing and control. To me, a lot better than the original did. Oh, that's beautiful. I love them props. Oh, man, don't you just love those props? The stripes on them. Isn't that good looking? Hey, you know what? We got enough for one more 
And I'm not, you know, I haven't been in any of these landings and takeoffs with uh, flaps or anything. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just scooter pooting around. So, and uh, yeah, I've now that I, I've been flying this plane more and kind of gotten used to her, I, I'm very impressed with her. Yeah, there's uh, there's going to be things that any plane that people uh, manufacturers could have done differently. Um, but I've been very impressed so far with this plane. And I want to thank you all for watching. Um, thank you all for helping me get to that thousand subscriber milestone. Um, I'm going to continue to try to improve these videos. Try to fly closer. That's my number one 2021 goal is to try to fly my planes closer where y'all can see them. Um, but any of you who fly planes understand uh, the closer you are, the more nervous you are with it. Um, you want to be keep it out where you can see it and, and you want to try to stay, you know, three mistakes high. So thank you for watching, folks. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. Don't forget to like and subscribe and God bless y'all.